Here's a glimpse of today's island dish. It's super scrumptious and filled with lots of flavors. So if you want to know how I made this dish, stay tuned and enjoy. I start by turning on all my burners and bringing two pots of water to boil. I add salt to one of my pots for taste. Next, I'm going to wash my sawfish to wash off some of the excess salt or you could just put it to soak. When I'm finished, I'm going to add my sawfish to my pot and put it to cook on medium low heat. So next in a bowl, you want to bring together flour, salt, and gradually add your water. You want to take your hand and mix this together because you're trying to combine all the ingredients together. So in the end, you should have one dough. So if you find it a bit sticky, you can go ahead and add a little bit more flour and dish to take care of it. With a palm of your hands, you want to now knead your dough, which is pressing it in within itself as you are rolling it over. Don't knead too much or it will become hard. So this is what you should have as the end result. And you want to go ahead now and pinch small sections of your dough and you want to roll this into your hands. And then with the side or the back of your hand, you want to press onto your dumpling. So I'm going to demonstrate again so you want to roll and then press and then that's pretty much all you do. You can go ahead and now make the rest of your dumpling before you add it to your pot. So after you are finished you can go ahead and add your dumplings to your pot now. Be careful that you don't burn yourself. Next step is you want to take green banana as much as whoever you're making it for and you want to go ahead and remove a couple of them and cut off both ends of that green banana. You then want to slit down the middle of the green banana. This will make it easier to peel when it's cooked. You want to peel your potato after you're finished and then go ahead and cut your yam if you're using yam and go ahead and peel that. Remove the excess skin before you cut it up. So when you're going to cut up your yam, you don't want to cut it too thin because they do cook easily. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and wash your yam and add this to your pot. You can then go ahead and add your potatoes and then your green bananas. In another pan, I'm going to bring some oil to heat for my fried dumplings. I'm pouring off the water of my saltfish and I'm going to re-add new water and put it to boil. In a bowl, you want to bring together flour, about a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, salt, sugar is optional for this dish, and two teaspoons of butter. And then you want to mix this together. After you want to gradually add your water, and it's the same step as the boiled dumpling, you want to bring everything together. Add extra flour if you find it too sticky. And then with the palm of your hand, you want to go ahead and knead your dough as much as you can. After you're done, this is what you have, and you should go ahead now and pinch your dough and make small little dumplings. Once you are finished, you want to add your dumplings to your pot to fry a medium low heat. Okay, I'm pouring off my saltfish again, I'm going to put it to boil again for another time. Now I'm going to cut up my seasoning. I'm using tomatoes, onions, scallion, sweet pepper, and a piece of scotch bonnet pepper. So once your dumplings are finished, you want to go ahead and flip them over. And this is the golden color you're looking to achieve. I'm now going to put some oil in the frying pan and put my seasoning to fry. After, I'm going to add some fresh thyme after I finish stirring. And then I'm just going to stir that in. Next, I'm going to add some seasoning salt and a little grounded black pepper or spice of your choice. And then you want to mix that in. Add a little bit of water to help the seasoning cook. Some people like to add the, the water from the ackee can, but I personally don't like that. So after my fried dumplings are done, I'm going to take them out and put them on some paper towel to drain the excess oil. Next, I'm going to wash my ackee in the tin so that it doesn't smush. If you have a strainer, I usually like to put it over my food pot and pour my ackee in and cover it and let that steam. My sawfish are all done now, so with some cold water, I'm just going to cool it down and use my hands to basically flake it apart, removing any bones and skin that I don't want. This is the end result. After you want to go ahead and add this to your pot and stir it around, I'm going to add a little bit more extra oil because my pot was drying out. After you're done stirring, you want to go ahead and transfer over your ackee. And the thing with ackee is you don't want to mix it too much because they crush easily and you're not trying to crush them all. I'm going to add a little more seasoned salt and a little more grinded black pepper. This is optional. And then you want to go ahead and stir that in. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more time and let this cook for some time. So I'm checking on my food, the banana, the skin's coming off, and the potato looks good. You can use a knife to poke these to check if you don't know how to check with your eyes. 
This dish is great with fried plantain. So you want to cut the ends of both your fried plantain, slit down the middle and use your knife and then peel it. Once you finish peeling, you want to slit it in half and then go ahead and cut that into sections. If you find that one section is bigger than one, you can slit it into another half and then you can go ahead and cut those up into small sections. You want to then add your plant into your frying pan, a medium low heat and let those fry. Once it's done frying, you want to go ahead and flip those and you see that golden brown color that is exactly what you're trying to achieve. You can get them darker if you want to. With chunky ones like this, you can put them in a paper towel and with something hard, you can go ahead and press it and this will basically make it equal to the rest and it'll be flattened. And you can add that back to your pot and then let that fry and you're finished. All right, so here is the completed dish. It is very delicious and easy to make and filled with lots of flavors. You could top it off with your favorite island soda or any drink of your choice. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.